How you doing today, man? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? I'm all right. How's um, you and the family doing during the quarantine so far? Uh, thankfully, uh, thankfully no one has called anything. Everybody's staying safe. How's your family doing? They're good, man. They're good. Thanks for asking. So, what has this experience of this sports school off-season program been like so far? Um, I like it so far, honestly. Uh, I've been in that group by myself because most of my um, opposition group are on the they're on the east coast, so we work out at different times. So basically, like I've been getting one on one training with the, with my coach, so I kind of like that. Person. Understandable. Speaking of the position coach, I mean the uh, position group. What's it like being in this tight end room? How close are you guys? Is there elements to you game that you can say that you've added since coming to Philadelphia that you're going to attribute to them? Uh, I think we have a real good group, you know. Uh, I think we got one of the best groups in, in the NFL, if not the best. Um, I think, yeah, I think we definitely all have different skill sets, but I think we all bring bring something to the table, you know. Yes, sir. Definitely understandable. So, I understand you're from Carson, California, right? Um, I was born in Carson, but I'm, I'm I was born in Virginia, actually, but I'm in Cerrito. Really? Yes, really. Oh, man. Well, being a young man from the West Coast, pretty much attending the University of Washington, being born in California, what was it like having a settle in life in Philadelphia? Oh, man, it was definitely a big change. Never never really been on the East Coast before. Uh, kind of just had to get used to the weather and the people, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. I I came up there a few times for a trip, like going to the games to see you guys, and certainly a different environment. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I see you spent some time in Atlanta. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much work you got to do with Matt Ryan, but is there anything that you can say from Matt Ryan's game you you can compare that are similar or different to what you have now with Carson Wentz? Um, I think they are both have great attention to detail. They are both students of the game, and kind of, they're kind of different players. Carson definitely more athletic player. Um, I think about Ryan, he would he would throw the ball on time, off the of time and more. And I think Carson has better arm strength, so I feel like Carson has like he can hit the ball in that a little better. Oh man. Well, you know, I don't know if you heard, but around these parts, they call you the giant killer, Josh Perkins. <laughs> so, their, big, their first Monday night football game, the big fan targets with five receptions. And then in the second matchup, four receptions, 50 yards, and that inexplicable touchdown. I don't understand how they left you so wide open. Can you um, care to explain exactly the process of that play? Uh, it was a two man route, and. Basically, was trying to get me the ball, but honestly, we didn't really get the coverage that we wanted. So, um, I just kind of just tried to get to the open spot, and Carson made a, a hell of a throw to get it to me. Definitely was that. Definitely was that. I mean, I'm sure you've heard the fans' version of the practice squad player story, but get us through what it was like coming up from the practice squad, understanding that you were going to have to be one of the guys that Carson will rely on week in and week out? Um, I feel like early on, being on the practice squad was kind of tough. But when we finally got called up, we were, we were ready to go because we had been working the whole year. We were ready for our opportunity. We didn't have no – we wanted to just build that trust with Carson each day in practice. When we got out there, we were just trying to make plays for him. So when we got in the game, we could, he could be confident that we would be in the right spots for him. So I see I was doing some research on you, and I saw that your favorite shows are Martin and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which made me wonder, during this whole quarantine time, if you can only watch one of the show between the two, what would it be and why? Uh, I think it depends on what mood I would be in, but I feel like Martin's, Martin's a little funnier. <laughs> That'd probably be it. I mean... 
You never look wrong with some good money. Mm-hmm. I um, I also saw that you enjoy singing. You care to talk about where that passion came from and how you got into that? Um, basically, just growing up in the church, always singing uh, praise and worship and stuff like that. And also, uh, my sisters and my mom could sing, so it's kind of always been like part of my family. So I kind of just enjoy doing that. Would you consider yourself to be the best singer in the family? Nah, not at all. I might as well say that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's my favorite. Um, so what is the best part about being an eagle? Uh, I think the fan base, honestly. They they care so much out there. They, they're always energetic. And, you know, it's just the, the best fans to play in front of. Yeah, they certainly will let you guys hear it when they don't agree with you on them. <laughs> exactly. But, hey, they're engaged. Yeah, certainly. So, if is there any message that you would give to the fans, your teammates, and the coaching staff as to what they should expect from Josh Perkins heading into this upcoming season? Um, I mean, I'm just working my butt off each and every day out here trying to get right, no matter – even though we've got the quarantine and none of my work hasn't been stopped, they, they should expect a lot out of me. I'm going to give them my all. So we've heard from Carson himself, Howie, and Doug. How exactly do you feel being a player in the locker room, seeing the acquisition of Jalen Hurts? Um, I think it's going to be pretty competition, you know. Iron sharpens iron. It's always going to, it's going to keep everybody on their game. Yes, sir. I can do nothing but respect like that. I'm going to see if the fans have any questions for you. Um, one of them said, did you think that pass, the one we discussed earlier, the wide open touchdown, would get all the way to you from across the field before the defender would? Um, yeah, I definitely did. Uh, I know it was an eight man. I knew they had a. We had a, a bunch of people in protection, so it wasn't a matter of we would have time to throw it. I just had to get to the spot. I know he had a strong arm, so I was just trying to hurry up and get over there as fast as I could. Um, man, man. Um, so would you say you have a favorite moment so far? Of being an eagle? Being an eagle? Um, I mean, that one might be it. You can talk to right now. Uh, probably the Monday night game, too, as well, because I wasn't expected to even be playing that much. And then outside goes down, I, I get the opportunity to go in. And I don't know. It's just a good to be able to uh, just get out there and make the play. So, I mean, I can understand that. This probably wasn't your ideal story to start him, for lack of a better term. But if you could tell anything to your younger self, if they knew that this was what the story would look like, what would it be? Um, you know, I'll keep pushing. You know, regardless of things that, that happen, you just got to keep grinding and keep going through it, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm undrafted. I'm going on year five, so I just tell myself that you, keep, you can do it no matter what anybody else thinks about it. Yes, well, have you got a chance to see the schedule yet? Uh, yeah, I saw. I saw. I peeked at it. The game I'm looking forward to most is probably the Saints game, just because one of my um one of my friends that I grew up with he plays for the Saints, so <laughs> we lost to him a, lot, a couple years ago in the playoffs, and we kind of owe him some. And he's talking that so I kind of got that one circled on the on the calendar. Oh yeah, you need your bragging rights back. Exactly. Um, is there a specific DB that plays for a certain team that you saw that you wouldn't mind being matched up with, or that uh, you haven't had a chance to match up with yet that you would like to? Uh, I don't know. I got for the schedule. I can't really tell. Um, not off the top of my head, but I don't know. I feel like the Saints again, just because I've been practicing against Jinx. Jink all the time at practice. It'd probably be cool to play against in an actual game. 
funny you brought that up. So what do you think it's going to look like? I believe it's week 13 when he comes into 14. the link for the first time. 14? 14, yeah. When he comes into the link first for the first time as a visitor in all these years, how do you think it's going to be for him? Uh, I mean, coming from our fans, I think he might get booed, but I think that he doesn't really deserve to because, I mean, he did bring us a world cup. So, I mean, I don't know how he's going to be received, but I know he's going to be happy to be back in the link. Well, I'm sure he I don't know if you had a chance to check out his piece that he wrote to the city of Philadelphia on his way out, and mm-hmm. he said something something similar along the lines of he understands that the booze weren't necessarily you guys suck. It's just the passion. So mm-hmm. I'm sure that he would know that if he got a couple booze when he walked through the door, it's all love. It's all respect, exactly. Um, I think that's about it, man. Thank you for your time. Thank you, man. I hope you have a blessed day. You too, man. Make sure you stay safe out here. Thank you. I will. You too. Good luck this season.